today I'm gonna be doing a makeup inspired video. This is my first time that I'm doing such video and I hope that this one is good start to it. She looks flawless in that uh, golden gown and um, a very nice cat eye with earthy toned on all over the face and nude brown lips. So yeah, this is what I have created today. And I hope that you learned something from this video. Stay tuned. So let's get started with this look. I'm gonna start off with my primer and I'm gonna use Color Bar Perfect Match Primer. So I'm gonna apply it on the T-zone and then spread it outwards with my fingers so by the way I have done my brows off camera I do it usually in my tutorials like I have done it 60% of the times in tutorials uh, especially recently but now I'm thinking that really is the most boring and most repetitive portion and uh, it's like really same in my all videos anyways I'm gonna just tap it on and I'm gonna start off with my eye makeup first. Today I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow primer by Wet n Wild, like a right size amount and apply it and I'd spread the excess on the other eye and then apply the rest. And light up to my brows and also in the corners and on my lower lash line. Using the iconic two palette by Makeup Revolution so I have done the crease portion with it so I'm just um, smoking out my outer corner uh, with this second last shade right here near to the black I'm just blending it in Just bringing the brown shade once again, the same brown one which I used earlier, and just adding it on a cream and spreading it out. Now it's time for the shiny bar shade, which is right here, the third one. I'm gonna apply it with my finger for the rest of the palette, the inner part. Take a little bit of this shade, the fourth one, the next to it, and apply it on the mm. bottom part. It's right here because her eyeshadow looks uh, like really luminous, kind of. And I feel there are specks of glitter as well. I'm gonna add it in the end. I just want to deepen the brownie shade, just putting it right there. So I have done my other eye and I feel like I need to warm my eyeshadow a little bit and uh, it's really uh, optional so you can skip this option but I'm gonna use this oops this shade right here it's a warm brown and just apply it on the outer as a transition now it's time for the brow one highlight and for that I'm gonna use this shade so I have a review in this palette so if you want to check the review I did on my channel, you can check that out. I had a card. It's got the right amount of matte and early, you know, tones for every day. And it's for beginners. And this is Too Faced uh, Sketch Marker. And this is in the shade black. And I'll just make a, you know, binge eyeliner with this. I'm gonna take this dark brown shade and just work out the lower lash line. I'm gonna touch the uh, part where I started or where I ended the highlighting with that champagne shade 
and I touch the wing basically just fill in the spaces and also it can be seen that her wing is pretty smudged out so I'm gonna use this particular shade for the smudging part and I'm gonna smudge on the existing wing use the color pop nail in here this is what it looks like on the pan it's a loose glitter it's a shampoo glitter on a brown base and uh, I'm applying it very really sparingly just for little to nothing kind of glitter look I should apply with finger actually that is a better way I'm gonna take the LA Girl Velvet Highlight Contour Stick and highlight my brows with it. Oh, please. Come on. I need to heat it up. But it's really a subtle glowy contour stick. <laughs> I use it as a, you know. Primer highlighter because I'm using a very dewy foundation already today, so I thought of using it below my existing foundation. And I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with the powder now because cream will stick to it and it will make that texture. And now I'm gonna do my foundation, and for that, I'm gonna be using a reasonable one, it's by In Color. take my damp beauty blender and dab 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 I like the problem seem to hide my discoloration around the eyes make sure you don't place it really close to your eyes because you're gonna be blending it anyway highlight my face using the Maybelline Age Rewind dark circle treatment in the shade fair and put it on my beautiful nose keep it full the chin really here I'm very sparingly here I did it I don't want to glob a lot of product here and for the rest of the face I'm gonna use this luminous kind of shade it's a highlighter but it's a very really subtle one I'm gonna mix it with this shade and apply it for the rest of my face. And when you have a bad highlighter, make sure that's like this skinny toned. Then you can even mix it with your face powder to, for that dewy kind of finish. I like this trick. I use it very often. And I'm gonna contour with this shade. I'm gonna be using the Oil Flame Bronzing Pearls. This is a bronze top. It's really too. Sorry, I will pick that up later on if I can find it. And because this look is an early tone, I don't want to pink, um, pink in my lips, my cheeks. I'm gonna use the Illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just placing it on the high points of my cheeks. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot, man. This look is not about that glowing high points of the cheeks. It's all about your strobe up face, that overall glowing up look. That's why I maintained the subtleness of the highlighter. So next is time for the lips and I'm gonna use my color bar. Take me as I am lip color in the shade Seductive Tan. Just 
to deepen up my edges i'm gonna add this color pop it is in the shade stud Just got to do the inner corner highlights a little bit more. So guys, this was all about this video. I hope that you learned something from this video and I hope that you liked the video. And if you did, then do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.